Hello, my name is Ahmed Kelamaksoy. I'm a researcher from the Technical University of Berlin and the Berlin Institute for the Foundations of Learning and Data Bifold. In this video, I will demonstrate to you EarthCube, which is a tool that we develop at our university. EarthCube allows users to explore satellite imagery from various European countries that was captured by the Central 2 satellites. Our tool is currently operational on the BiggerNet dataset, which was developed by our group in 2019. BiggerNet is a large-scale benchmark archive for Earth observation that consists of about 600,000 pairs of Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2 satellite images. The images were acquired from 10 European countries between June 2017 and May 2018. EarthCube also provides land cover statistics for various locations and allows users to efficiently query satellite images. All right. Now, let's see EarthCube in action and discover its capabilities. EarthCube welcomes us with a satellite map layer, which allows visual exploration of the respective geographical location. Clicking this button, we can switch to OpenStreetMap layer, which provides political and physical features. On the left, there is the query panel. Through the search box, users can search individual images by their image name. The image names come from the BiggerNet dataset and they represent from which Sentinel-2 tile the image comes from. Users can also search for images by submitting geospatial queries defined by a geospatial area using coordinates here. Alternatively, users can draw a shape on the map using the buttons here. These can even be arbitrary polygons like this one. By drawing this polygon, we just did a query for images in this area. But before we get into the results, let me show you how we can customize our query using the query panel. Here we can filter the images for our query by setting an acquisition date range as well as the satellites and seasons. In BigArtNet, every image is annotated with multi-labels provided by the Korean land cover map of 2018 based on its thematically most detailed level 3 class nomenclature. Here we can filter images by 43 different CLC labels. We can also have different configurations for the chosen labels. Okay, now let's reset the labels and get back to the result. On the map, we can see markers for locations of each image that was retrieved by the query. The markers are clustered for a smoother user experience and change in different zoom levels. Zooming into the location unclusters the markers on the map and zooming out clusters them back. Clicking on the cluster reveals tooltips for individual images, which display metadata for the corresponding image. When a query is executed, a result panel appears on the right, where users can explore the results of the query. At the top of the panel, the number of found images matching the query criteria is displayed. In EarthCube, it is possible to render up to 1000 images at the same time which gives users the opportunity to explore the satellite images from the area and interact with them visually. Clicking the individual images displays the same metadata information as before, and this button directs users to the image in the result panel. The result panel consists of two views, image patches and label statistics. In the tab image patches, users can view images from the queried area. Users can navigate to each image on the map pinpoint each image on the map, and download each image as a zip file. And the zip file contains the 12 bands of the downloaded image and the metadata. Users can also add images to the download card to be downloaded later. It is also worth noting that the images can be sorted by acquisition date through the sort functionality here. The label distribution for the queried images can be found in the Label Statistics tab which provides an overview of the land cover clauses of the search area. A particular feature that distinguishes EarthCube from other map-based search engines is its content-based image retrieval capability. Content-based image retrieval aims to search and retrieve similar images to a query image from huge data archives. As the name suggests, content-based image retrieval analyzes the contents of the image rather than the metadata such as keywords, tags, or descriptions associated with the image. Image retrieval methods integrated to the current art observation platforms are either hard to scale or not fine-grained enough. 
BootCube addresses this limitation by allowing users to query images based on the semantic content efficiently and effectively. To do that, BirdCube exploits a deep hashing network based on metric learning called Milan. Milan encodes high-dimensional image features into compact binary hash codes. These hash codes are then stored in a hash table that enables real-time nearest neighbor search and highly accurate retrieval. Now, let's do a content-based image retrieval by clicking this button for this image. We expect to retrieve images with visually similar content. It is important to underline that similar images are searched solely by the content of the image. No metadata or labeling is being used. When we do the query, a new tab appears in the panel, showing the query at the top and the retrieve similar images below. As you can see, the retrieved image contents as well as their labels are similar. Another way to do image retrieval in EarthCube is by uploading an image to EarthCube. Sentinel satellites constantly collect new images of Earth's surface. These newly collected images can be uploaded to EarthCube after some pre-processing to retrieve similar images from the dataset. I have prepared a pre-processed Sentinel image to be used in this demo. This SIF file includes the different bends for the image. To show you how the image actually looks like, I have visualized it. You can drag and drop the image here to do a similarity search. When you drop the image, the system processes the data and our deep neural network creates a hash code for the image and performs similarity search. If you're interested in our work and want to learn more about it, you can read our paper Satellite Image Search in Agora EO that was published in the International Conference on Very Large Databases in 2022. Thank you all.